Hello my style squad angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We are going to be covering my top 10 online shopping hacks and tips to help you shop smarter that I use myself when shopping both for myself and for my clients. Now, I'm also super excited to announce that this video is sponsored by ShopTagger. So ShopTagger, thank you so much for sponsoring this video, you guys. Their app is a game changer, but let's get into that in just a moment. Now, as a personal stylist, you guys know I do both in-person and online personal shopping for my clients. And being that I do that, I scour over hundreds of websites all the time all the time, both for myself, because let's be real, I like to do a little shopping too. But when I'm looking for my clients, I'm often trying to keep track of price points for them. I want to keep track of things for their shape. I want to keep track of just lots of different things. It's a little bit overwhelming because before I used to screenshot everything. I would have multiple lists that I would open with links in it to double check things to see if price points had changed. It was just a little bit crazy. So my very, very first tip to help you organize the things that you're looking at online to get yourself the best price point possible when shopping online is to download the ShopTagger app. Guys, if you have not heard of this or you have not used them already, what are you doing with your time? You can download it straight to your phone or you can put it on your desktop. Either way, you're gonna love it. It's super easy to use and install. So what you want to do is go to the ShopTagger website or you can download the app directly to your phone and create an account. So you can do that using your social media like Facebook, your Google account or Twitter, or you can just use your email and then click on the top right hand corner there that says get the button. And here you'll be able to get a free button that will download directly to your computer where you can browse to your heart's content. <laughs> so as you can see, I already have mine because it says I can remove it from Chrome, but it'll look like the little button there on the left-hand side. And as you're browsing, you will see the shop tagger button up in the right-hand corner by the URL, and you can shop to your heart's content and start saving everything to your shop tagger account. Now, why I love them so much is because anytime you are browsing online, you can use their app and save anything that you're looking at from accessories, clothing, bags, whatever you want, and it pulls everything together in one really, really convenient place. And not only this, but you can keep track of sizing. You can tell the app when you want it to notify you if there's been a price point change or a discount of some kind, it notifies you immediately. and. It's just, it's amazing. It's such a game changer for when you are shopping online. When you're browsing online and you find something you like, let's say, say these yellow pants here, cause oh my gosh, look at those. So when you find something that you like and you decide that you want to keep it or save it to ShopTagger, you can go to this right hand side here and you'll see this little S pops out. So you can click on that and it will pop up with the item you're looking at and you can choose when you want to be notified. So you can choose any price change, 25% off or 50% off. And for me, I like to be notified of any price point change. And then you can also choose what uh, list you want it to go on. So you can create separate lists in your ShopTagger account to keep track of things. So I've got accessories here, bags, blazers, bottoms, etc. So this time around, I'm gonna save it to bottoms. And then you can save your item and it is as simple as that guys. How easy is that? Now I'll be notified and I can go to my shop tagger account and boom, there she is. So I will get an email and be notified as soon as anything changes with this um, gaucho pant. And you can see I've saved quite a few things because <laughs> number one, I love to shop and there's so many cute things out there, but now I'll be notified of everything, which is so amazing. Oh, I love, I love this app. It is friggin' amazing. You guys need to try it if you have not already. The other amazing thing about this app is that they also offer you exclusive coupons and discounts with retailers that don't normally offer it. Like, hello, net porte one of my favorite retailers. I love them, but they don't often do discounts of any kind. But with ShopTagger, they offer something amazing. <laughs> And there's a list of hundreds of other retailers for coupons and discounts that they have exclusively with them. So you're gonna get the best bang for your buck possible. The next online shopping hack or tip to help you shop smarter is to decide 
what you want. Now, most of the time, or if you're like me anyway, a lot of people tend to, you know, browse stores when they've got a free moment, when you've got a glass of wine in hand at the end of the night, it's just nice and relaxing. It's a little bit mindless. You'll make shopping in general just so much easier when you have a goal in mind. So this is when you can start to scour Pinterest or even put together a style board. This is something I had done recently for myself as well, where I just collected a collage of images and then put them onto an actual cork board to remind myself of the style that it is that I'm trying to achieve because it speaks to me personally. Once you've put together a Pinterest board or once you've put together a style board for yourself, break down the commonalities that you see in all the images that you've seemed to, you know, cut and paste for yourself or that you've saved. There's always little nuances, like maybe it's a certain style of jean or maybe you really like button up blouses or perhaps there's a certain color palette that tends to repeat itself over and over and over again. Getting an idea of what it is that you're drawn towards and what it is that you're trying to achieve with your style will really help you narrow in the mass selection and variety that are out there in stores and make sure that your dollar is still going in a place that serves you and your wardrobe really well. The third online shopping hack or tip to shop smarter is to make a list. Now, I know this may cue an eye roll with some people, but bear with me. Honestly, this makes such a difference. Now, one of the reasons that I see as a personal stylist that women have nothing to wear is because they don't intentionally shop. We wait for the stores to tell us what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Spontaneous shopping can be really fun. It's exciting and it is great to find a gem maybe that really speaks to you that you weren't necessarily looking for. But if that's how you're doing the bulk of your shopping, I can almost guarantee you that your closet will be filled with things that don't necessarily serve you or don't necessarily mix and match. And eventually you'll just have a closet that might be full, but you're still looking at it thinking, I have nothing to wear. After you've made that beautiful style board for yourself, you've decided what you want as a style, make a list. What is it that you're missing from your closet that's on that style board that you don't currently own? Get specific and make your shopping more intentional so that again, you're weeding out the other stuff that isn't necessarily a priority for you right now in your wardrobe, but that you're also going to purchase and you're gonna get exactly what you want. You're gonna achieve that style that you're looking for. So yes, it takes some of the impulse of shopping out, but baby, you'll get much closer to your goal that way. Fourth online shopping hack is to study cuts. Now, this is something that I feel goes overlooked by so many people when they are shopping online. And it's such a big deal to look at to ensure that when you have something delivered straight to your door, when you're online shopping fits you like a glove. Now, one of my favorite ways to look at clothing is actually when it's in a flat lifestyle or when there's no body in the garment because then you really get a sense for what the true shape and cut of the piece is. So if you're looking at a top, for example, you really want to examine from the armpit seam all the way down to the end of the blouse or, or top or shirt or whatever it is that you're looking at. So with these two examples, if you look at the shirt on the left, from the side seam from the armpit and down, you will see that the shirt is very straight and linear. It looks a little bit like a box. So if you're someone that likes some blousiness around the midsection, or if you like your tops to be a little bit boxier and shapeless, then this would be a perfect or ideal cut to look for when you're in store. However, if you are somebody that likes a little bit more definition around the waist, if you want a little bit more tailoring in that area, um, or maybe it just flatters your body tape a little bit more. If you look at the picture on the right, you'll see that the blouse, again, from that top of the side seam from the armpit and downwards, has a little bit more of an arc or a C shape underneath. If you are scooping up and picking up blouses that look like this, when you go and try it on in the change room or when you have it delivered to your home, you'll know that that shirt is going to give a little bit of shaping around the waist and around the midsection. So again, it depends on what your style goals are, but this is why cut can be so important to look at. The next online shopping hack is to examine the model's frame. Now, I love that so many online retailers supply this information. You can look at the model's height and then you can just start examining their body type in general. Now, I know some people will say, well, I'm, you know, I'm not the same size as a model. That's okay, but you can examine their body shape. So some models might be really rectangular, right? Or some models may be more of that A or pear shape. Um, you know, just 
have a look at what their shape's like so that if you're looking at a top and let's say the model does not have a large bust, but you do, this is something you need to think about. Are you going to like the way that shirt falls the same way as it does on the model who does not have a bust? You have to know that it's going to alter the way that that figure, or sorry, not that figure, but that clothing garment is going to look. So the more you kind of dissect the photo that they've so well put together, the better the result will be when it gets to your door. Next online shopping hack is to know your measurements. I'm sure all of you have had the experience of going into a store thinking you're a certain size and you try something on and it's either too big or too small. Brands fluctuate with sizing so much, so it is really important you take your measurements on the bust, the small of your waist, which is normally just above your belly button, and your hip, which is the widest part of your bum. It is not the hip bone, it's below that. So knowing those measurements is super, super important. So every store you go to, you want to check the size chart. Now, if a retailer only offers a generic uh, size chart that's supposed to go for all different brands. My suggestion is to Google that specific brand's size chart and look at what they recommend. Yes, it is more time consuming, but trust me, if you are paying attention to that actual brand size chart, I can almost guarantee you that it will fit like a glove if you pay attention to that in your measurements every single time. You'll also want to check the model's measurements as well. So this kind of rolls back to the other point, but most retailers will have a model uh, show a size typically in a zero or a two. So if you see a model wearing a four or six, for example, then you'll know that that cut or piece you're looking at is fit small, so you'll need to size up. The next online shopping hack to help you shop smarter is to ask yourself before you buy something, can you style it three ways? It's really easy to get caught up in a beautiful picture that's styled gorgeously and look at a top or bottom or skirt or whatever you may be looking at and just thinking, oh my gosh, that's so me, I wanna bring it home. But before you do that and to ensure you're still bringing value and versatility into your closet, I always recommend you pause and try and figure out three looks head to toe with accessories that you can style with that piece you're looking at. Again, this takes the spontaneity out of shopping. I get it. But this will also ensure that, again, you're only bringing beautiful pieces into your closet that serve you really well and will leave you with multiple outfit options rather than only being able to wear something one way. The next online shopping hack or tip to shop smarter is to Google the name of the item you are looking at with a retailer. So let's say I go to a big box retailer and I find a beautiful pair of pants that I'm eyeing. Instead of just buying it with that retailer, and maybe I'm saving it to my shop tagger app, I want to take the name of that pant and throw it in the Google search bar to see what other retailers are also carrying that pant. This way you'll be able to see if there's any price variations and if there is, wonderful, you can get the best bang for your buck. But if they're all kind of in that same range, again, save it to your shop tagger and you'll be able to keep track of all of the retailers there. So when one of the two or three or however many may be carrying this item, when one of those goes on sale or offers something that you know will allow the price point to drop, you'll know you've gotten the best bang for your buck. The next tip is to fill your cart and walk away. <laughs> now, let's be real, we all get a bit of an adrenaline rush when it comes to shopping. We get caught up in this moment, this experience that we're providing for ourselves as we shop online and look and dream of things that we're loving to wear and we can just embody where, or sorry, imagine where we would wear these beautiful pieces. But after thinking about the outfits that you can wear it with and making sure you've got a retailer that's offering you a really great price point, I still recommend to, you know, shut off the laptop, shut off your iPad, whatever it is you may be searching on and just walk away, take a breather. It's great if you can sleep on it, but at least give yourself a few hours before you come back and revisit this thing and actually hit the checkout button. Now, I recommend this just because, again, we all get caught up in things, and I know I've even done it where I filled my cart and I'm thinking, yes, like I so love this stuff, it's amazing, and then I'll walk away and come back, and the next morning I'm like, mm, you know what, no. 
I don't really think I need that anymore. Or no, like this, you know, I could check my closet and this is kind of similar. So I don't think I necessarily need that either. And again, it ends up saving me money just because I took that breather. I stepped out of the shopping zone and came back to it with a refreshed and more relaxed mind to look at it again with a new pair of eyes to see if I still felt the same way about this piece that I did initially. And then the last shopping hack is to ask yourself if you want to save or splurge. So just examine the pieces that you are looking at. If you're looking for really trendy items, this is a time where it's ideal to save a little bit more of your money, unless it's something that really speaks to your personal style and aesthetic. Trendy items are usually things I recommend to my clients that they save their money on. So this is something that could be amazing to look on eBay for, on Etsy, if you want to look at um, online thrift stores to see if there's something that you could find that emulates that trend that's current at the moment, but for a fraction of the price, rather than splurging on really trendy items at some of the bigger box stores or with certain brands, just because again, you're going to pay a little bit more for something new and shiny. And depending on what brand you're looking at, right, it could be designer or, or not, but it's usually better to just save your money and not spend a lot on that trendy item because you know it's going to turn over quickly and again is not a long like it's not a long term item that you're probably going to wear over and over and over again in your closet for years to come anyway my angels that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any online shopping hacks feel welcome to share them down below and thank you again shop tiger for sponsoring this video i so appreciate it for those of you that want to check out shop tiger which i highly recommend i will leave the link for it down below definitely go check it out you will not regret it I love this website. It's so good. <laughs> Other than that, my angels, I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you again in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.